hey guys welcome back to next gen blogger and in this video i want to show you how you can apply a wave transition between two videos in vscc free video editor now it's actually super easy to apply a wave transition between two videos in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this transition i've already imported two demo videos in the editor so this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video and interestingly I have not overlapped my videos which I normally do if I am making a transition tutorial and that's because wave transition does not need overlapping of the videos so that's why the second video is directly placed after the first video as you can see right here. Now the first thing which you need to do to apply a wave transition between these two videos is double click on the first video and then go to video effects go to transforms select distort and then click on ok now currently the duration of the distort effect is the entire duration of my video which is 14 seconds 200 milliseconds so decrease the duration of the distort effect from 14 seconds 200 milliseconds to just one second so let me just write 0 1 inside the duration option and press enter now place this distort effect right at the end of the video like this perfect now look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window inside the type option currently faceted glass is selected so click on this drop down list and select wave now right here below you will find these two options frequency and amplitude where currently the values are 10 percent so first let's look at frequency first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that you have two values 10 semicolon 10 and now change the values from 10 semicolon 10 to 0 semicolon 50 do the same thing for the amplitude option as well so first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change and now change the values from 10 semicolon 10 to 0 semicolon 50 perfect and so now if I just go back to my main editing timeline and if I just quickly play the video for you perfect now double click on the second demo video and go to video effects go to transforms select distort and then click on ok now once again decrease the duration of the distort effect to one second so let me just write 0 1 inside the duration option and press enter now place this distort effect right at the beginning of the video like this and look inside the distort effect settings type is already set to wave so that's fine frequency is set to 0 semicolon 50 so change the values from 0 semicolon 50 to 50 semicolon 0 and inside amplitude as well the values are 0 semicolon 50 so once again change this from 0 semicolon 50 to 50 semicolon 0 perfect and that's it so now if I just quickly play the video for you notice the wave transition which is happening when the cursor moves from the first video to the second video perfect let me just quickly play this video for you once again so this is how you can apply a wave transition between two videos in BSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.